Hi everyone at .NETConf. You know, one of the things that gets me really excited is when I get the opportunity to speak to some of our students and learn about some of the products that they're building. And this particular student is coming all the way from Singapore and he's actually a part of our Microsoft Student Ambassador Program. So Sam, why don't you introduce yourself to our audience? Hi, as Liesl's mentioned, I'm Sam from Singapore. I'm, son I'm currently studying in a polytechnic pursuing Infocom Security Management. So I'm coming more from a cybersecurity perspective, but .NET has been a really interesting language to play around with anyway. So this is a group project I've done with my friends. So I did more of the design backend, while they did the actual .NET Razor Pages C Sharp finagling. So you've got a login page and it allows, the project allows uh, mentors and students to interact with each other. So students can share updates about their projects and mentors can, su and can send suggestions to their students about what they can do next. So you've got a unified login page. And then the student would create their profile, letting people know what they look like, you know, because it's been hard. It's been hard to do that recently. You can share your name, your hobbies, what kind of food you like to eat. It's all there. And on top of that, the mental profile includes uh, the name, email. So you know, when you've got a burning question at 2359, two minutes before submission, you know where to send that email. Uh, you can also see the suggestions that the mentor has given you. And then the mentor can also send suggestions, as I mentioned before. So maybe they can send suggestions on, hey, maybe change that button from brown to orange or red. Or maybe they can nitpick on your issues with punctualities to video call uh, consultations. And they do that. So like Sam, you know, I noticed you've been late recently. This is where they send the suggestion and I have to click acknowledge and say that I'll try to do better. And you've also uh, got a project page for the students to create all the different kinds of projects. Because you know, in Polytechnic, you're juggling all kinds of projects with all kinds of class members. This is a unified place to do it. So you can add your different members here. And you've got your description and updates. You've got your title, you've got a poster. And similar to your profile view, you've also got a project view. You know, pretty, you know, poster view. And the mentor would sign in, they create their profile and they'd send their suggestions to particularly late problematic students. They can add their suggestions, they can view the past suggestions that they've given, whether they've been acknowledged. They can view the mentee's profile. So maybe what's their email? So maybe if Sam hasn't submitted his critical uh, proposal that he needs to submit or he will not be graded and he will get a big fat F for it. This is where they go to get the email. And that's basically what we've been doing with our project in .NET. Nice. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Sam. I'm curious, though. So before working on this, were you familiar with .NET and Razor Pages and some of those types of things? Well, I heard of .NET as a framework, but I've never actually interacted with it. So it was quite interesting because I expected it to be quite convoluted and confusing, but with a little bit of c -sharp C-sharp knowledge is actually not that difficult. So working with the design backend, you know, making cute color palettes, uh, cute little animation buttons. Um, it's really awesome that .NET is an open language that works in the open web, allowing me to integrate my Tailwind CSS or my custom JavaScript animations into .NET seamlessly. Nice. And it'll be really great if maybe as you all keep working on this project that Maybe your school starts to use it, and maybe other people start to use it as well, right? That would be exciting. That, that's the dream. That's that's always the dream. Nice. Well, hey, Sam, thank you so much for coming on and showing us your project. Thanks and for having me. Thank all of you for watching. I hope you all enjoy the rest of .NET Conf, and stay tuned because we might have some more students with some more projects that we'd love to show you.